What's up guys, Lucas El Coolio here. Welcome to the review of Titanfall Expedition. Now, this is the new DLC for Titanfall for the Xbox One, and it just came out today, today being May 15th. If you didn't hear about it, it's probably because they only announced the exact date yesterday. So anyway, it has three maps, Swampland, War Games, and the last map, Runoff. So we will go ahead and talk about Swampland first. This is by far the best map in the pack. This map is very balanced. It features high trees, fog in the upper canopy, and the lower parts of the map have vegetation and ruins for you to run around in as a pilot. It, this is by far one of the most inventive maps in Titanfall right now. Most of Titanfall maps kind of have the same monotonous feel of this industrial factories and things like that. This is one of the few maps that really feels outdoors. It feels like the nature is the main point of the map and the ruins and other structures are kind of an afterthought, which is refreshing because most of Titanfall has been bogged down by only man-made structures in the maps. This is definitely one of the best maps. The trees offer the pilots a lot more versatility than other maps. You never really feel trapped by titans as you do in some of the maps in the game. The structure of the map gives you a lot more opportunities to get angles on titans and kill your fellow pilots. And nothing's more satisfying than having a canopy battle in the tree with another pilot. There is some more wide open areas of the map, like this lake here, but for the most part the map is very closed in by the forest and the trees that surround you as you battle in the forest. Like I said, the best map of this map pack. So let's go ahead and move on to the second one, which is War Games. Now War Games is a Tron-like map that is supposed to be a simulator, so you're basically fighting in a simulator right now and very similar to the titan training if you guys remember that from early on in the game but basically the layout of this map is not too revolutionary it looks a little bit different you have these tron like buildings with strips of light and it's very gridded look you can see the grid actually in the skyline back there but other than that, the map isn't like revolutionary or anything. It doesn't really do anything to push the boundaries too much. But that being said, it's still a very solid map. Respawn did a very good job with their original maps, making sure none felt uneven or there were cheap parts of the map that players could exploit. They were all pretty fair, and this map is no exception. There's a lot of variety here. Titans can battle in the street and pilots can battle on the roofs but neither side is favored too heavily to the point of feeling that you've been cheated out of the death but other than that it's pretty much business as usual as far as titanfall maps go so let's go ahead and move on to the final map runoff now runoff was supposed to be launched with the game but actually respawn ended up pulling it back and working on it more whether that was because of technical problems, balancing, or they just thought it was easier, we won't know. But one of the first things it reminded me of was the Halo map, The Pit. It looks very similar to The Pit, with the large running alleys in the middle and the very square buildings with bridges to each on top. That's the first thing I've thought of when I played this map, and it does play that way. Down in the bottom, in the pits, those are basically the kill zones. The only way to survive down there is to be in a titan for the most part. The pilots will stick to most of the buildings and the upper structures as they usually do. Again, this map is another one that's not too revolutionary. You see a lot of the same structures that you've seen in past Titanfall maps. They have the long winding bridges, the tall buildings. The pit offers a little bit different because most of the time these kind of lower areas don't run all the way around the map like they do in this one so that's interesting but again you'll see the same dynamic as you usually do where titans are on the lower parts where they can fit and pilots are up on the rooftops not a whole lot of changes but like i said before again very solid maps that obviously respawn took consideration to make sure that they were very balanced 
With that, I will give you the verdict for this map pack. And in my opinion, I would buy this. I thoroughly enjoyed these maps. I think that they're all very balanced. And if you're playing on Xbox One, as this game is being reviewed on, it's likely that you don't have a lot to play right now. So I would keep yourself busy. The DLC is only $10. You get three maps that were obviously very tested and very, you know, checked for balancing. And, you know, they also released a patch, so there's even a little bit more content than before. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe for new content, and I will see you next time.